Hello friends. Today we will discuss some basic electronic measurement devices. So we will discuss introduction, emitter, multi-range emitter, voltmeter, multi-range voltmeter and multimeter. So friends, you know, in our society, electronic devices have become more prevalent. So this PowerPoint presentation will shed light on this basics of electronic measurement devices. Now, the devices are used to measure physical quantities such as voltage, current and resistance. First measurement device is emitter. Now friends, see in this image, this is emitter and this is symbol of this emitter. This emitter is used to measure electric current. It measures either DC current or AC current in amperes. It is always connected in series. Now second device is multi-range emitter. Its name multi-range itself implies that it has multiple ranges. So now we, we have to select proper range using selector switch. Now see this circuit diagram. Here R1, R2, R3, R4 are the resistances. Basic meter is here. Here is battery. Selector switch is there. So, using this selector switch, we can choose appropriate range. Now, each range has its own scale. It is calibrated in amperes or milliamperes. Now, this device is used in laboratories, workshops and industrial settings. Now, next device is part meter. See this circuit diagram, here battery, fuse, register is there, now voltmeter is connected in parallel with this register, LED, emitter and now. Friends, voltmeter is always connected in parallel. It measures electric potential difference between two points of that electric circuit. Next device is multi-range voltmeter. DC voltmeter can be converted into multi-range voltmeter by using number of projectors along with range switch R1, R2, R3, R4 are the resistances. Here AC selector switch. Uh, here voltmeter is connected. Here is current is measured here. So we can choose proper range, workable range using this selector switch. Next device is multimeter. Now, multimeter measures multiple electrical properties. It is used as voltmeter, emitter and ohmmeter. Also, it measures additional properties such as temperature and capacitance. Here in this image, see this is manual multimeter and this is digital multimeter. References I have used for this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.